How you doing everybody? I'm Artist Brian Sheffield. Welcome back. It's good to have you with me today. I'm going to continue on with this spray art we got going on. And, uh, do a nice little moonlight piece today. take my time with this though. I'm uh, not getting any kind of special or particular brush or anything like that. got a little screw on top that I like to use. But uh, we'll put a little white glow around it. Just a little bit, just like that. I know it kind of blurs the image a little bit, but that's okay. You come back in and tap this black a little bit. Uh, I like to come in from the edge like I did in that sunset painting. Kind of have it get brighter as it goes towards the center. And we're going to throw stars here in just a second. First, I'm going to tap this back out. Give some of that variation in there. Of course, that's what's going to give you style of your depth. And the style that I do it in. It's another reason why I like to paint on canvas is because paper tends to move around in the, in the style that I work in that paper really wouldn't work well for me so I do what I do and uh, what it is that I know how to do come off like that and uh, of course we get our favorite stuff that we've been using for a while Kind of go along the lines of what we had with this. Give us a few little nice effects going on here. We're even going to cover a lot of this up because I'm going to bring a tree in from this side and we're going to do a darked out mountain here with a, uh, with a flower coming off and maybe I'll put a little hummingbird about right there if, uh, if I can get this right. Anyway, let's go and throw some stars. Bam, bam, bam. Uh oh, got a cover. We don't want to mess that up now, do we? Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. That's pretty good. I like that. Show know how much I like throwing my little stars. And uh, there's a little spot right there, everybody. And uh, I'm gonna make that a little extra bright. Make it look like all this is coming from a certain spot. And now uh, lift that up. Uh oh. I got a little bit of white up under that lid. I like to 
like I told you, you can always come and clean it up. I make a mistake in just about every piece. When it's all the way on the paper of your canvas like that, that's when you're the most likely to make a very, very minor mistake. Like I said, you can come back in like that and it's all good. You can still tell, but you can kind of do something with it. Boy, that's hard to get just right. I may not accomplish it today. It's alright, that's good enough for now. This will just have to be the imperfection in this piece, I guess. Yeah, well, I have to come back and fix that later. Anyway, uh, we can get some white. And, uh, I got a little board here off to the side. And, uh, I'm going to spray some white. And then right on top of that, top of that white, I'm going to put a little bit of green, about half as much white as green. I mean, about half as much green as you do white. And then, uh, And you come in, you tap something out like this. Then you get some black. Spray it out in your little uh in your little round thing here. And you dip your brush in that black. You come in and you make where a branch would come out up into this and we're going to build a tree a little bit different way today just a little bit not a whole lot but uh, you come out like that and you lay out some more white on top of that Just like that, and then you come back and dip in your black again. And you come up here. Oh, started off there, so that's where we gotta go with it. Come back in like that. Come back and spray some more white, some more green. And uh, get your blotter again. And this time you want to go over these branch, some of the branches, not all of them. But over some of them like this. You've got this tree coming in from the side. Just a little bit more black in my hole. And just keep working this. And you want to come out right above the edge of where your bird would be. You don't want to cover up that spot. Remember we said we're going to do a hummingbird. You don't want to cover that up, which is this spot right up in here, or right up, right up in here, 
Now you don't want to cover that up. So you spray back on top of this white where you had this green and there's a little black going to mix in there too. You come in like this. but I want some more white on some of these edges here. And I want to give some definition to some bows. Keep coming in with this white. You see it's fading out. See it's not white anymore. Watch when I put this white. See that? See how that does? You do it just about like that, and see you got a tree coming in from the side here. And then uh you kind of do this like this, and then you come back in and get some more black. And then you come in from this side. And you draw your little branch coming out. Here on this side, you go back to that white. Light it up right there where a branch will be coming out. And you do the same thing. You just keep on. You want to fill in this top. You can even come in with a branch coming in from a different way. That makes that tree look like maybe it's off to the side there. Draw this in there. Just come in just like this. And then maybe one coming in from over here. Because when you go across this white right here, you got to make sure that your paint's thick enough to cover that up. Then you can come in just like that. And come back over there again with your white. Remember you had green, a little bit of green and a little bit of black there before. So this color will pop in there real nice. And you come in right here just like this and it makes look makes it look like another part of the tree back there off in the distance or maybe even some a little closer just like this it'll make it look like another part of a tree over here all right we're going to do something a little bit different than what we've been doing just a little bit. Come in with this black. Now remember we laid, in one of the videos, we laid some black and then we laid white on top of it. But this time, <coughs> I'm going to use that plastic wrap to do a little bit different type of mountain. Uh, You just kind of drag it in here like this and this is more of an abstract type of a deal and it'll smear some as you work and then you can come back and highlight this 
later on after the you're done with the basic painting and uh, come back and really make it look like something. wanted that there on the bottom. But this is really an older method that I was using for some mountain work that I used to do in acrylics. And I would lay something like this as an underpainting and then come back over the top of it with something else. And uh, it would really come out looking pretty cool. Uh, let me see. I want to do this one next. I want to come in with that black uh, once more, once, once again. I don't know how many of you saw one on uh, Google Plus, but those of you that are and see the finished pictures, then you know I always do a little something extra with them. After I finish the video, I like to kind of clean the image up a little bit and kind of work on it as I go over a couple of day period and really come off with a really high quality image as I can. Anyway, now that we got that, I'm going to go ahead and come off with some like we did before. And one of our other paintings, well, I keep saying one of our other paintings, one of our other paintings. I guess I have done quite a few so far. I'm not exactly unhappy about that. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Anyway, we're going to come in with something like that. And then, uh, spread a little bit of white and go back to your brush. Trying to do a flower stem here. Coming out of like a Well, I'm really concentrated, folks. That's why I'm not saying much.
I really hope this doesn't take longer than 20 minutes because that's as far as my video camera goes. And uh, I don't know how to change that yet. Anyway, I'm going to come back and highlight those mountains after I'm done with this basic piece. And uh, I'm fixing to lay out a hummingbird here for you. Right there. I'm going to touch up on this flower a little bit first. Uh, I'm going to turn this just a little bit, folks, so I can keep my finger up off that, or my hands up off of it. Okay, you want to start, and you draw your beak, coming in real thin, like this. Of course, you want the beak thicker and thicker and thicker as it gets closer towards where the head would be. And then you... Draw your head in there. It's okay to leave that one little star in there and you can use that as an eye. color underpainting uh, and you go on top of it heck damn it <coughs> and when you get your basic shape of a bird in there like I said whenever I finish doing the video I'm going to come back and re-highlight this make sure it's just perfect before I let it go and you do the wings just the same way that you did for your other bird in your sky in your sunset, it's the same basic principle. You just want a hint of feathers. Don't have to paint actual feathers. Getting these wings right sometimes does take a little while. That's okay. Just a basic image, just like this. I said, this is just fast art, people. This is not. You can take this basic image and you can turn it into fine art, but it takes a little bit of time.
And wait, here's the basic body of you bird. And uh, you don't want to come down into the body, go right there where the top of the body's at for the wing on the other side. You do you another way. Just like this. Starting to fade, so Anyway, I'm not sure if there are any nocturnal hummingbirds in the world or not. There might be. But, uh, anyway, just a basic image, everybody. And uh, I'm going to call this Nightwing. Y'all have a good day.